This is how it happened. This is how the Batman died. You think you're a team now? You're herd animals. Dependent on someone else to survive. Like you, Harkness. An illiterate alcoholic who's yeah, desperate yeah, for the spotlight. Yeah, 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 and Floyd's a deadbeat dad. Sharky's a freak who'll never be a real boy, and I'm... What was it? Oh, yeah. I never was too bright. Get some new material, jerk-off. You know, Joker? Used to be real good at hurting people with words. But you... Boop. Even when you're evil, you're still too good. You had a good run, Brucey. Flying around Gotham, punching bad guys, cleaning up the streets, causing long-term mental and emotional damage to everyone you knew. It's our turn now. After all we've been through. Oh. But you didn't think it'd be me at the end, huh, Bits? Are we done with your bad stand-up routine? Almost. But you always gotta end on your best joke. This looks familiar. Why don't you say whatever speech you got rehearsed? Get this over with. Stupid old man. You don't get to rush this. I just failed to understand how anybody on the development team thought that this would be taken kindly by the fans. We're looking at an utter disrespect and desecration of the things that people cherish. Not to mention that we are desecrating the legacy of Arkham Batman. You mean to tell me that the Suicide Squad was able to take down Arkham Batman? This Batman? Can't wait to spend some of this damn money. <laughs> most dangerous member of the Justice League and you guys pulled it off. See now that's some bullshit. If nothing else convinces you, this should understand that the gaming industry today is simply politics first, agendas first, over good quality stories. The people who are working in these industries don't respect these characters. They don't respect the legacies that they stand for. They fail to understand and to grasp that most people spent their entire childhoods looking up to these people, to these characters, and they mean something to people. But of course, how could you possibly understand that when you've never been a part of that world? To execute Batman like some low-level thug, some low-life. You executed Batman. You didn't kill him. You executed him. This is just sickening on a whole nother level. Green Lantern, I have the Flash. Your four escaped criminals. They led me right to him. No, not a threat at all. Still. Let their corpses strike fear into those who'd resist. Yes! 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 No! 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 Fuck! Shit! Come on, Captain. You just got here. I've been inside five freaking years. Feels like I've been stuck in this conversation for five years. Can we please- Oh, so sorry, Deadshot. Are we interrupting your being strapped to a gurney? Isn't Deadshot supposed to be white? Is this what you call a vegetarian option? I don't know you, but... My pheromones remember you. Oh, strange emotions. Tell me about it. Wasn't expecting you to come in fun size.
Come on now, dog. Come on, man. When Suicide Squad unveiled its gameplay last year, an LGBTQ plus flag painted on the walls of a building in Metropolis City was qu quickly spotted. As you'd expect, a corner of the internet was outraged and vowed not to buy this game. Why do you have to put flags like this in a game? Why do you have to put a message like, we welcome all heroes? Of course you do. Uh, anybody can pick up a video game. I could pick up Minecraft. You could pick up Minecraft. I could pick up Grand Theft Auto. You could pick up Grand Theft Auto. Does it really matter? Do we need to establish that everybody is welcome? Probably not, no. Especially in a game like this, which is rated for adults. Um, adults can make a decision on if they want to purchase or and play something or not. And of course, they were furious that people vowed not to buy the game just because of this little banner. But that is an adult's decision. Holly, get us out of this! Holly, Holly, do not touch us but you saying i can't really makes me want to you know <laughs> no! Holy no. No. worth it and so they have uh like i don't really have a problem with stuff like this but i do have a problem with what seems to be kind of like double standards where it's like how could you ever have a sympathetic male character do this to a female oh, strange emotions Tell me about it. Wasn't expecting you to come in fun size. Do any of you guys think that that would ever make it past production? No, I don't think so. I don't think that they would ever have a male character do something like this and then have a, in any shape or form, sympathetic portrayal of that male character. Because, like, she is a psychopath. She is fucking insane. But the truth is that she's not portrayed as a one-dimensionally evil character, is she? Yeah. Exactly. I think it's weird that, like, there is an obvious, very clear double standard that people feel like objectifying and invading the personal space of men is acceptable in a way that it is not acceptable for women. It's fucking obnoxious, man. Consider the fact that Suicide Squad has already been documented by early access players to have many woke pandering tactics seen in other games. Rainbow flags of plenty, as well as having consulting agents baked into the DNA of its very fabric. Suicide Squad, like Spider-Man 2, Alan Wake 2, and God of War Ragnarok before it are all clients of the woke company known as Sweet Baby Inc., which is a consulting firm that, as they put it on their website, whatever your story needs, we're here to help. We tackle narrative and character in any form, keeping emotional resonance and authenticity at the heart of our work. When Season 1 launches this March, you'll be able to unlock a new playable character for your squad, the Joker. At least buy me dinner first. Not only has he got to figure himself out, but he's figuring out his place in this new world and this new squad. I think we've taken him back to the kind of more vaudeville roots of Joker. He's masking insecurities with traditional Joker behavior. But deep down, he's not sure who he is yet. Lock him up. I'm done. <laughs> no! Medics inside. I thought the four of you couldn't achieve anything. Prove me wrong. She's probably just bushed, right? I like how Wonder Woman is also the only person that gets a proper send-off. And I know somebody's gonna be like, but she was helping the squad, man. Well, Flash was helping the squad too. Flash saved the squad's life on more than on more than two occasions. Yet he gets pissed on. And so the Flash has expired. He saved our lives, yet we ended his. As honorable warriors, we will show proper respect to this fallen hero. Bye. 
Show a little class, man. That holy shit. You can't tell me that there's no agenda in these stories, man. Come on, guys. Wake up, man. Yeah, all of this is leading to refunds. Now, to be fair, this was published two days ago. Uh, the height of the refund surging came after people paid $100 to play the game early and got online and it was broken immediately. Uh, that's a sign of bad things to come and people were desperately trying to figure out how to re uh, refund the game. And I would imagine this is still the case because the game is such a shit show. He could destroy us without it. Well. Uh, what you doing there, Sharko? Shark? What you got there, buddy? Somebody take it from him. You want to try? Honestly, guys, man, I hope that this is the game that shuts down Rocksteady Studios because we do not deserve this. Kevin Conroy didn't deserve this, man. The Arkhamverse doesn't deserve this. This game shuts down Rocksteady Studios. It would be the best thing that we could possibly hope for because these people have already shown their true colors. This is not the Rocksteady of old. These people clearly don't give a damn about the source material. They can't even do the bare minimum. To simply Google what happens when a Green Lantern dies. How does the Green Lantern ring work? That is so hard for them that they have to create their own fan fiction to be like, hey. It's our turn now. And they just crap all over people's most cherished icons. Roxanne Studios needs to shut down, man. This cannot stand. How do you do that? How do you do that? What the hell is going on?